We know the U.S. is shipping more crude oil by rail than ever before. This increases the risk of a hazmat incident involving crude. Are local responders ready for such an event? John Swanner's 10 on your side investigates. Prairie Creek firefighters found themselves in the classroom Tuesday. Stan Capobianco of the state fire marshal's office taught them how to respond to a crude oil incident on rail lines. My goal is to just give them enough information to be aware of the, of the product that, it's involved, that may be involved in an incident. Crude by rail is coming soon to Terre Haute. Each day the city could see as many as six 100 car trains carrying more than one million gallons of crude oil. It's uh, no different than what they see on, on, the, on the state and county highways. Capo Bianco spent part of his fall training in Pueblo, Colorado, learning to respond to such incidents. Now he's tasked with taking that knowledge and passing it on to others. Look no further than Monday for evidence of how serious these incidents could be. Several cars of a 100 car unit train carrying crude oil derailed in West Virginia, causing massive explosions and forcing evacuations in the area. CSX operated the train that derailed on Monday. In an interview recorded before this incident, Terre Haute Fire's hazmat director wow. says CSX Railroad has the best safety record in the industry. They are really taking this task to heart mm -hmm. because they know this is something completely different than anybody has ever dealt with before. In spite of Monday's accident in West Virginia, the railroad industry safety record on the whole is rather good. In fact, of all freight delivered by rail in the United States, 99.98% of all deliveries make it to their destinations incident free. Of course, some of the crude by rail incidents have been catastrophic, which is why there's a lot of pressure on the railroad industry to make safety advancements. In response, rail car manufacturers are making crude oil tankers that have added head shields and reinforced valves. Hopefully, we're not going to have a puncture leak. If you see this placard, you know that train is hauling crude oil. While that may concern you, we've learned these guys and these guys are ready, armed with a plan to keep us all safe. I'm John Swanner, 10 on your side. There is one oil refinery located in the Wabash Valley. It's the Marathon Refinery in Robinson, Illinois. We asked the company how that refinery receives its crude oil. Marathon says it cannot answer how each specific refinery receives its crude, but they did tell us in general they accept crude by rail, pipelines, trucks, ships, and barges.